Hey, Paul. Um, we will get started with um. Uh, PJ, just want to ask you two questions. One, um, this game offensively that you had tonight, Kawhi kind of was was struggling a little bit. Um, you stepped up your offensive game. Is this kind of like what you envisioned, like you and Kawhi kind of being a tandem together? And two, when he made that block on Jamal Murray, you ever seen a player block a shot with his middle finger like Kawhi did? Well, that's a that's an extra long middle finger. Um, like it kept growing or something. You know, that's, that's, that's Kawhi, man. Um, big time player. I mean, the mitts is, is something else. Um, but I, I, I got to help him. You know, I, I got to help him. Kawhi's did more than enough down the stretch. Um, some nights it's not going to be his night. Um, you know, and, and that's just where I, I got to be myself. I got to help him. I got to help pull the weight, make plays, make shots. Um, you know, it, it just, you know, give him credit getting us this far. But uh, he can't go into every game with that pressure that he's got to, you know, be great on both ends. Um, offensively, some nights it's, it's, it's going to be rough. Um, so, you know, it was, it was emphasis. When I saw, you know, I had it going early. Um, I just kept attacking, stayed aggressive. Um, just let the game come to me. Next, we'll go to Farbon. Hey, Paul. Lou Williams said, you know, he, the guys decided in the fourth quarter they really didn't want to lose this game tonight. Is that something you felt in the fourth quarter where the intensity just picked up from everybody? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, we felt it. Um, I'm sure you guys saw it. Uh, we were not going to be the team that lost tonight. Next, we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Paul, congrats, man. Um, so, so obviously, Jokic is a handful for, for everybody. Um, what'd you make of the job that Zoo did on him today? And, and uh, just what'd you make of Jokic and doing Jokic things out there? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's great. Um, he's one of a kind at that position. I thought Zoo did a great job. We told him. I mean, it's, he's, he's a great player. Um, what you have to do, though, is just make it tough for him. If you make shots, he makes shots. Uh, but it can't be easy. He's got to be worn down. He's got to be tired. Um, and going to that next game, he's got to remember how tough it was. Um, and I thought Zoo did that. Uh, it's just tough. It's tough. He gets those calls. He, you know, he throws his body around. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Same thing past that. I mean, he puts the pressure on the refs. Um, some of those I don't think are fouls, but he gets it. Um, you know, you just tell Zoo he's just got to continue to battle him. You know, he gets those calls, he gets them. You got to keep it going. Next, we'll go to Dan in the bubble. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's basketball, you know, it's, it's basketball. Um, we're, we're not a perfect team by any means. Um, this game is, is made on stretches. Uh, one team gets hot, gets going. The other team rallies back. Um, but this game is always predicated on whoever plays to keep this first win. And I thought we incorporated that, um, put this game away. Next, we'll go to David. Hey, Paul, um, you know, you guys really tightened up there defensively, you know, especially right before halftime and then in the second half there. Um, you know, we've seen what this team is capable of when you guys are really locked in defensively. Um, just, you know, what do you think it's going to take, you know, to start off the game with that consistent effort? You know, so I know Denver's a great offensive team, but, you know, to just kind of avoid getting down, you know, by double digits like that. Uh, look at film. We'll see what we can identify to uh... – you know, get us off to a better start defensively. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, again, we're, we're not perfect. Never said we were. Uh, that's an area that we have to clean up. Um, we'll address it tomorrow. Try to be better for game four. Next, we'll go to Tomer. Hey, Paul, congrats on the win. Um, I'm just curious, Pat post game said that uh, – Jokic presented similar issues as, as, as Doncic did in the, in the herky-jerky style game, does everything, sort of flails a bit as well. Um, you, you know, we saw some frustration from Zubats. How important, I guess, or how much do you enjoy seeing the frustration, I guess, or the emotion about caring so much about playing 
And if you could just speak, speak a bit more about to the job that Zoo has done uh, on Jokic so far this series. Uh, I mean, that's, that's how it feels. That's how it should be, game two. Uh, it weighed on Zoo, you could tell. Um, game three, he wanted to make an impact. Um, I, you know, like I said, we, we talked to him. He's, he's a great player. Um, great players, you tip your hat when they make tough shots. Uh, but they got to make tough shots to beat you. Um, that's, that's just what it is. You know, Zeus, he's not going to stop him um, to some degree. I mean, he, he's going to score his baskets. He, he's good. Uh, but he's got to make it just tough. Um, I think he's doing a great job on him. Uh, it's what you want to see in a young player uh, when they want to take that challenge. And, um, you know, like I said, a game two, you know, that whole game was weighing on him. He felt bad about his performance. Game three, he came out and challenged him. Um, nothing but great things I saw from Zoo tonight. We'll take one more from Sabrina. Hey, Paul. Uh, they kept showing the families cheering on the TV broadcast today. I was wondering, did you notice having, you know, real fans in the building today? And what's that experience been like? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's great. It's, uh, you know, the only bit of noise you hear outside of the hoops. Um, it's great. We got our whole... Uh, squad here. Uh, we got a big support system here. Um, so that's great. Makes it feel somewhat like home. All right. That's all I got for you. Thank you.